Hey everyone, Rob Wiseguy82 here. Happy New Comic Book Wednesday, day before uh, Thanksgiving. For those who are celebrating it, I uh, hope you guys have a great one. Uh, at the very least, hope you guys are going to be able to spend it with some family, friends, or uh, or just treat, you, just treat yourself to just something nice. So, uh, hope everybody has a great day. Uh, and actually, it's uh, just past midnight now, so uh, happy Thanksgiving. Um, but... I don't know which one is a little bit more important. Well, we get a lot more new comic book Wednesdays than Thanksgiving. So, okay, we'll give them that one. Uh, but happy new comic book Wednesday to everybody. A lot of great books. Got a couple of, uh, I got two series ending. Got two number ones that I picked up. And uh, some really awesome books. So, um, actually, it's getting lighter. I got uh, next week, I've got less, I got 19 books left, uh, next week. So, unless... Any more get added because sometimes uh, there's a couple different websites I check out. Sometimes uh, books get added. Excuse me. So uh, less than 20 bucks. That'll be nice. But uh, okay. So the first one ending we'll go over is uh, <coughs> from 451 Media. Uh, this has been really cool. I was always a big fan of Peter Pan when I was a kid. Hook is one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, so this is Neverland. This is definitely a very different story. It's not our Neverland. Um, really, really interesting. Nightclubs, drugs. Really, really cool. Um, it says right here, everything, uh, let, everything will be okay in the end. And on the back cover it says, wait a minute, what does it say? Everything will be okay in the end. It's not okay, so it can't be the end. That's what it says on the back cover. Um, so, hopefully, maybe we'll get some more of this, I think. The next one ending has been really good. And, uh... Empress, number seven. Maybe, hopefully, he'll do it like uh, Jupiter's Legacy, where he'll do another volume of it. Uh, but I've really enjoyed this. Great artwork. If, uh... Man, you're not going to be, well, maybe you'll be able to tell, but her dress is so detailed. I mean, this is a really awesome cover. Really cool. This one right here, I don't know if I'll pick up, but I was flipping through it, and I really like how Venom is drawn here. So, let's see how uh, Mike Costa, Costa. Does with this. This is a cool cover, and uh, and I'll tell you what, guys. I I have a uh, those uh, one per thousand or one per store variants, the black and white one. Uh, Todd McFarlane. I'm gonna get it. My shop had one, but it had like a little. It looked like somebody stuck a tack through the cover, and um, so he's gonna get another one. So. I don't, I don't have it yet. I can't show it to you, but I got I got it coming. So hopefully it'll be okay, and this one will be good. <clears throat> so I'm kind of excited about that. So this one right here has been really good. I like this. This is Black Eyed Kids number eight. I hope it keeps going. Really cool cover. Oh wait, shit! One more, a freaking huge one. I've been waiting for this, and I just, I. Totally had no freaking idea that it was so humongous. A.D. After Death, book one, from Scott Snyder and Jeff Lemire. It's prestige format, super thick. The one that I have signed is paper thin. So I don't know where the rest of this came from. But this is amazing. The cardstock... On the cover is freaking awesome. It's like canvas, like like painter's canvas. It's absolutely phenomenal and humongous. Taller and much wider. Absolutely amazing. My shop had a humongous stack of them. It was like this high. Uh, so I'm going to be getting a couple more of these, even though it's five ninety nine, I believe. That is awesome. Uh, so you guys already saw Black Eyed Kids from Aftershock. Uh, this right here, I didn't read number one yet, but uh, I like what 
some of the other stuff that Chapter House Comics puts out. Puts out. So this is Die Kitty Die, and I really, really want, uh, uh, just like Rez, that uh, Darwin Cook cover. So uh, if anybody has two that they want to get rid of, send one to Rez and then send one to me. Next one, I really like the first issue. And then there was that really awesome uh, Tyler Crook painted cover. This one's tough to see. There you go. Warlords of Appalachia. Really freaking cool. Takes place, I think it was like 20, 2140 or 2040, something like that. Not too far in the future, but Kentucky has seceded. Civil War is raging, and it's, it's really... This is our uh, main character who is... Uh, Rising up, making really tough decisions. Really, really cool. Great artwork. God, man, I hate that I gotta remember these freaking 15 minutes again. Uh, the Killer Inside Me, this is really awesome. Uh, this is done by, or, uh, it, yeah, adapted by, the, so I don't know. Oh, Jim Thompson. No, uh, it's a Jim Thompson. So I guess he did original novel or something he does a series of novels uh, this has been really interesting by a serial killer <laughs> Kingsway West I was hesitant uh, but it's only four issue four issues and uh, it, it is interesting I like it I'm cool with it artwork is really cool and uh, and we're gonna see what happens I like the uh, seems like there's a neat little love story between them and and yeah kind of badass to one of my absolute favorites and this cover is freaking awesome this is depth or department H number eight is it number eight there's relates all over here you can't really see probably but freaking awesome one of my favorites another one of my favorites I'm gonna stop saying that because they're all amazing Harrow County number one uh, what the hell well, there is a 1 in it, but it's also an 8. Number 8. That's really cool. Emmy's hand and one of the haints. I think that's the abandon. Or maybe somebody knew. Because the last story was about him. And this has been a really, really great first few issues. Lake of Fire, number 4. I hope this keeps going. But if I'm not mistaken, well, no, I don't even know if it's a mini. I don't know. But it's really awesome. Speaking of awesome, I mean, <gasps> maybe award winning? Absolutely phenomenal. Completely, I mean, I mean, as intense as you can get with that last issue. Awesome, that whole freaking interrogation scene. Supposed. Fantastic cover. Absolutely amazing. <clears throat> Jonathan Hickman is definitely one of my favorites. Outcast, another one of my favorites. This is awesome. I hope it keeps going with, uh, yeah, I don't know what uh, Robert Kirkman has planned for it, but I, I like it. I'm in. <clears throat> the Goddamned. We haven't seen this in a while. Number five. Jason Aaron. Let's see what he's got with this. This has been really good. Really, really, really good. Freaking amazing artwork. I love it. Frostbite number three. What is it? Jason Sean Alexander. Yep. And Josh Williamson. Kick-ass cover. Boom. And then we've got a couple of DCs. With a cover of the year candidate. Boy. You guys already know, or a few of you do, Detective, or uh, excuse me, Batman Detective Comics, 945. I picked this cover. I thought that was pretty awesome. Awesome, awesome. <clears throat> and this, well, we'll do this one first. Uh, I grabbed the Civil War number 7. I know we're all uh, pretty upset. I feel the same way. I think it's nonsense that... Other stories are coming out before this, so, uh, whatever, it is what it is.
We got time. Yeah, this is a, uh, this is hypnotizing. Just amazing. Just look at that. I mean, look at the eyes. It's like they're glowing or something. Look at that. Jenny Frizen is just, and then it's kind of hard to see, but a tear. Jenny Frizen is just amazing. Ugh, I wish uh, I was a virgin. Too much stuff in the way. The picture that I saw of it was just the was just the cover. Definitely a lot more there, but that is incredible. Oh my gracious, what she is doing with these covers, man. These are going to be some of my favorite. Ah. Awesome. All right. That's it, guys. Excuse me. That's it. I got nothing else. Put out my uh, first How I Comic Book video. Um, forgot a couple of things. So the next one I do, it's going to be uh, Bagging and Boarding Part 2 slash whatever I decide to make the new one about. So uh, again, happy new comic book day to everybody. Uh, please have a Happy and safe Thanksgiving, and uh, peace, love, and Thanksgiving.